welcome all bidders. So we're looking for bids uh, on this project here in Snowmass, Colorado. Uh, it's an exist. It's a pop top. So let me walk you through it. The existing main level um, doesn't have a garage as of yet. So we're going to pour a footer all the way around. Um, here, this wall, a new footer, this wall, a new footer, um, you know, 42 inches deep and a 16 inch wide footer. And then we're going to pour a footer all along this front face, which is approximately 40 feet. And so uh, that needs a new footer. We need a new footer here, a new footer here, a new footer here, new footer, and a new footer and stem wall all the way to here. And then that's it. Uh, this is all existing except for this new entry here. Uh, currently, it, it goes here and then over and then over. Okay, um, So all of this existing doesn't need much. Uh, it will need a little work in here with lighting and a utility sink to be installed, but that is it. The doorway is already here. The stairway will need to be built here. Okay, Otherwise, it all exists. There's no windows on this side. That's under grade. And then here we have uh, a stem wall all the way at, at, at height, nine feet high, and then coming down six feet on a fin, out six feet. And then here's the garage existing. Uh, there's a doorway here on the main level um, in the bedroom. And this is all patio, top, rooftop patio. This is a 12 foot down to eight foot bottom of, jo uh, bottom of rafter. Uh, basically a 412 pitch roof. Uh, this is approximately 16 feet from here. I'm sorry, 17 feet from here to here. 19 feet, the total roof line. Uh, here's the other side. There's a single door going here. Uh, eight foot up and then the same roof line. It's straight across. There's a hot tub on top of this. All glass and then 14 foot bifold doors from panoramicdoor.com panoramicdoors.com 14 foot high here there's also a fireplace with a see-through fireplace out on the patio you get to see it and then inside you'll get to see it see what I'm talking about so here's those panoramic doors those bifold doors 18 feet across here 18 feet across here this door actually ends up going here and then there's another 18 foot set of patio doors there uh, the master bedroom actually gets changed around a little bit this walk-in closet extends to here uh, this half bath goes here, and then this bath has a, a his hers shower here and a dual vanity there. Toilet stays in the same place, moves over a little bit, and then the walk-in closet is just extended. Um, this actually has those extended bifolds like we talked about. There's also a 36-inch glass door standard going off the back here so you don't have to open the bifolds to go out. To go out. So that's the look and the design. Uh, if you want to do a bid on it, we'll give you uh, the finished designs here coming up. Um, but right now there's a door coming off here. This back bedroom over the garage actually has the bathroom and the walk-in closet on this side. doesn't have a tub though. It ends up having just a shower, toilet, and vanity, and a walk-in closet. Half bath stays there. Stairs coming up from the garage area, and then stairs going to the third level. Fireplaces stacked on top of each other on every level. Uh, it's existing on this level and on the main or lower level, first level. But this is all new work in here. All new work. Kitchen's all new work. Basically we're just dealing with an open slate on this level. An open slate. Uh, we're dropping the existing roof to use for as a floor. Uh, since it has a lot of big rafters, you'll see the pictures. And then um, building it out from there. Uh, this is all glass work, big glass entry, five foot six, and all glass on this 14 foot face, uh, 14 by 20 foot high, and then this 18 by 20 foot high, all glass as well. Here's some of the looks you'll see. This is on the third level. These are all the bifold doors that walk out onto that third level patio, and this, of course, is the island of uh, the high bar. This the sink, and this the bar area. This goes away. We don't have that existing. And then this is a see-through fireplace uh, stacked on the other one. And there's that exterior door walking out onto the rear patio. Now, to show you one more thing, 
on the rear patio here we have the door uh, this is all covered so there's a 8x8 post here 8x8 post and then a 4x14 inch glue lamb header 4x14 inch beam here and beam here to carry that roof load and that roof load spans two feet over has a two feet eave all the way around two feet eave so that's 15 foot 2 plus 2 feet plus 2 feet 19 foot 2 the total width 82 foot 7 plus 2 feet plus 2 feet actually on this side no 2 feet um, it just goes right flush uh, so it would be 84 foot 7 inches because it overhangs here this doorway goes right here so like I said we could do those open bifolds so we're going to show you some more of the mock-ups so there's one mock-up. Here's the exterior. Uh, so this is right over the stairway in the entry. Uh, you can see how we have a little wet area here, so you can fill up the tub and uh, sit back, relax, have a drink, or enjoy the tub. Here's the entryway. You can see we have paneling, uh, wood paneling, all glass through here. We have its uh, modern, uh, it's kind of a contemporary mountain, mountain contemporary vibe, feel, look. Um, so we have a lot of beams incorporated. This is all glass. Then the stairs go up and then shoot back. Uh, it's all iron and cable. Iron and cable railing. So that's the look there. A couple accent pieces with, uh, like I was saying, the, the stone work. That's going to be a see-through fireplace. You can see the fire there, but we want it visible from the exterior. That walk out, and then there's that covered patio over there. Hot tubs over on that side. Here's downstairs. This is on the main level. Existing fireplace. This is all existing. Only thing is isn't existing is this back wall, uh, which we're going to do some wood paneling, give it some uh, depth and some uh, some warmth, and then all of these beams, of course, um, showing, giving it some more warmth. Here's another shot of that hot tub. These beams go away. These beams because we're no longer covering. Um, the hot tub area, it's all open air. Here's a shot of the exterior from the front. You can see we have two glass door, uh, garage doors. Might end up just being one big 16 foot glass, garage door frosted glass. Uh, we do have a sliding door off of the den area, which is existing. And as you can see here, there's a big fin coming off here. Uh, that's to kind of separate the common area from the private areas. Because uh, you have your master up here, and then you have your, I'm sorry, you have your uh, master on the main level, and then you have your kitchen over here. And then up top, this is your master suite. This is your other, uh, oh no, that's all open, I'm sorry. This is your master suite upstairs. This is the bedroom with the bifolds, uh, 18 feet coming across. The uh, panoramic door system. You see the hot tub up there. Uh, but yeah, this is going to come out. There's a fin coming out. We're going to build this whole grade up whole grade up and then um, there'll be one post coming down here and you'll have that header visible on this side and of course on the back side so that is kind of the scope of well of what it will look like and what it is this whole big front face here will all be rock uh, we'll have all of this sides going to be uh, barn wood it's um, a 12 inch barn wood and then up here is all cedar uh, and it's uh, it's vertical if this is vertical barn wood this is horizontal cedar siding, four inch all the way across, except for where those panoramic door systems are, but you have a 14 foot section here, another 14 foot section here, and another 18 foot section here. Okay, I hope that uh, gives you an idea of the project. We're excited about it, and if you'd like to bid, we look forward to working with you.